Hey guys, Ruckus Gaming here, just coming at you with my most recent defect win. As you can see, this is a Sneko Eye Run, which I think are a lot of fun, even though sometimes they can present their own kind of unique challenges. Lately, I've been a big fan of Chaos, just because of the plasma that they can provide, even though it's a little unreliable. And it is great with loop because you're gonna get double the energy every turn if you can make sure that you keep that plasma orb lined up in the right spot. Next turn we get that Fission Plus, which I think has to be one of the best upgrades in the entire game. Actually evoking those orbs then getting the bonus energy and the card draw is really what made this deck take it up to the next level because that made it a lot easier for me to play those cards that Sneko kind of got the better of me on and you know raised the cost but with all the energy I was generating each turn the increased cost from Sneko really didn't matter very much. I did play that biased cognition pretty early but with all of the orbs I'm about to have, I've got a capacitor coming up, I've still got that defrag, I've got another biased cognition. I didn't expect this fight to go on long enough that I was worried about the focus down debuff doing anything uh, too bad to me. It is a good thing I did get those biased cognitions in early, just for turns such as this one. I can rely on my orbs to do all of my blocking for me, and I don't really need to have every single hand be a good draw. I can absorb some bad draws with this deck. Another hand that isn't that fantastic, but I do get my capacitor for free, which is nice and I'm able to fill up all of those slots. The big drawback with Capacitor is sometimes you can't always actually evoke those orbs. You have too much space and you can't actually get them out. Uh, so having Capacitor and full orbs was very helpful. Now we're getting to the point where it's just a damage race. Can I kill Donu and Dekka before I run out of focus? So my number one priority is evoking as many orbs per turn as I can while they're still useful. Nice thing about having lots of orb slots is that gives you time to pump up those darkness orbs. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to use Recursion or Dual Cast on this orb, but I also didn't need it because I knew that Stone Calendar was about to solve all of my problems for me. And there you have it. Those passive orbs were just enough to finish off Donu. I did not even realize this until the fight was already over, but I did not take a single point of damage. So you can see in my score, I've got the 50 points for taking down a boss with no damage taken. I want to show off the deck a little bit. Right away I was all about the orbs with Recursion, Cool Headed, Chaos, Rainbow. I think Fission was my Act 1 reward. And after that I was basically looking for just everything that made my orbs better. Whether it was a Capacitor or a Bias Cog or a Defrag. I was all about the orbs on this run. That's it for me today. Thanks for staying tuned. 